last clear. Load me from the rear. Coming from behind. He's bouncing off my booty cheeks. I love the way he rides. I can hardly breathe when he's oh. pumping deep inside. Hi, it's Matt from the future. This carnage happened today in today's video and I thought it'd be really cool to give this to some of you guys. So, if you order any Demolition Ranch or Desperado Resort hat, link in the description below, we're gonna randomly pick some of y'all today and we're gonna send four of y'all a little surprise. You're gonna like today's video. Welcome to Demolition Ranch, my name is Matt. I'm glad that you're here. A long time ago, years, like seven years ago or something, I made a video where we put the wrong caliber ammunition in the wrong guns. And it was pretty interesting. We're gonna do the same today, uh, but we're gonna go a little further. First, we're gonna start off kind of simple. These are actually little adapters. They're made for 12 gauge shotguns. They are from theshootersbox.com. They sent us these and we really appreciate that. Uh, they're just adapters. So they go into a 12 gauge shotgun like that, but you'll see they have a hole in them to take other rounds. First up, this one is a 22 long rifle, as you can see. This one is a nine millimeter. Then we have a 357 Magnum right there. And we have a 454 Casul right there. Pretty neat, right? But then we also have this one, which is a 308 size, fits in a 308 gun, but it takes a 32 ACP. Then we have this one, this little guy. A 50 BMG shell that takes a 50 AE cartridge. So what is the point of this? Um, I don't know, we're here to find out. <laughs> the point basically is to shoot cheaper ammo. It's to shoot uh, less powerful ammo out of a big powerful gun. So if a kid is wanting to learn how to shoot a shotgun, dad can warm them up with a 22 out of the shotgun first, then get up to a nine millimeter out of the shotgun, and then can you know throw a full power load in there and let the kid kind of Get used to the thump after he's already used to the triggering, holding the gun and everything. Some ranges don't allow you to shoot a 50 BMG. So this way you can still shoot your Barrett at the range. You're just firing a 50 AE out of it. So what's going to be interesting to see, and what I'm interested to find out, is this one makes sense to me because it's a 50 caliber round going through a 50 caliber barrel. So it should still fly fairly accurately. It'll use the rifling in the barrel and it'll fly down range and... Maybe we'll hit a target just with a lot less energy. But these guys, where you're taking a 357 mag and firing it out of a shotgun barrel, which is gonna be way bigger, it only has enough barrel right there to pick up velocity. And it does have rifling, this is rifled. So it will spin a little bit, but you got a one inch barrel. 357 mag out of a one inch barrel, even though you've got a 28 inch barrel there. We're gonna try them though and see how accurate they are how much energy they seem to have. And then after we test all these things that are made to be adapters, I might try one more thing that might get us in trouble. First up, 22 long rifle out of a 12 gauge shotgun. See if I can hit this blue target right here. All right, that actually hit like dead on in the middle. So remember, it is not using this barrel at all it's using a one inch rifled barrel. And so then the hard part actually is getting the 22 out of here because there's no extractor. So you gotta use your fingernail or a knife or something. All right, let's see if that was luck. All right, solid center hit again. Let's try something bigger. Nine millimeter. Let's see how this thing fires. This is center fire, so it should be pretty easy. That seemed pretty hard, honestly. I like it. How the heck do... Okay, that was actually really easy to get out. Reload! Alright, I didn't think I was going to like this as much as I do, but that's actually pretty fun. So if you only had a shotgun, you could go to the range and plink around with a 9mm. Rifle. Dude, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's try something with a little more power though. 357. Got these big boys. Let's see if I can cowboy up. 
It's crazy there's fireballs coming out of here too. Like in the nine, I was seeing that too. It's kind of fun. Like I honestly wasn't sure about this because you can look at it and know it, it looks kind of gimmicky. It feels just like I'm shooting a real rifle though. Uno mas. Fast. <laughs> 454 Kasul. Uh, I'm gonna try to shoot three as fast as I can. Oh man, they're getting closer. Jeez, that thing freaking thumps. All right, I had an idea. We have this exact same shotgun, but it's slightly different. It's the same, exactly the same. Just with a little bit shorter barrel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, the, the deal is, the shotgun barrel doesn't matter. It's not directing the bullet at all. The bullet's not touching the shotgun barrel. So why do we even need it? Let's shoot it out of this short barrel shotgun. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose a finger here. I'm gonna have to shoot like this. Boom, okay. Um, we're gonna do nine millimeter. I'm gonna try to clear the Texas Star fast as I can. Holy cow. Now, I'm not going fast on this because I'm going to lose a finger for sure. Oh, there's no sights. I forgot about that. All right, we're not clearing a star on this one. Yeah, that's, that's not happening. But let's see if I can hit this blue target. It's really not easy to aim when you have no... We need a... We should put a red dot on this. All right, I'm going to aim low. There she is! Dude, that was not really anticipating how scared I was going to be of shooting my hand off of this. I'm just going to... Right here. Okay, I figured her out. Freeze! I did not miss. The guy ducked. 454 Kasul. Out of a snub-nosed shotgun. Mm-hmm. This is how you lose a finger. All right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that was awesome. I still got all my fingers. Everyone knows that 357 Magnum is a cartridge that can be used in rifles as well, so it's kind of a long-range cartridge, we could say. So, I have it in my sniper rifle here. At the million yard range, let's see if I can hit a target. Jeez, I'm pretty sure it didn't hit anything, but I was just checking the wind, so it's part of, part of my plan, obviously. Yep, got it. <laughs> All right, that's pretty crazy, uh, because, of course, you can do this with a revolver, but you got better sights than a revolver. I've got a freaking bead sight on a one inch barrel. If I can do it twice, I'm the man. If I can't, I'm just me. Just me, not the man today. Oh look, I have a triple barrel break open shotgun. Wonder what we could do with that. Oh, here's a nine millimeter in the first slot. Here is a 357 Magnum in the second slot. And here's a 454 Kasul in the third slot. Let's go shoot them. This will go 9, 3, 7, 44, so it should increase in power. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Sweet. Imagine you're an investigator looking at a gang shooting. You've got a body over here, and you're like, dude, Chief, I don't know. He's got a 9 millimeter, a 357, and a 454 Kasul in him. Must have been three dudes. Nah. Just me and my triple honcho. And then the cops would show up and they'd be like, Matt, we know it was you. And I'd be like, sir, I only have a 12 gauge shotgun. That's the only gun I own. It literally couldn't have been me. And they'd look at the record and be like, that's true. We searched his house. He only has a shotgun. He definitely couldn't have shot those other weird rounds. I'd be like, you got the wrong guy. Suckers. Uh, this one's going to be a little difficult because you're supposed to shoot these out of break open or bolt actions. 
Um, I don't have a bolt action 308, I don't think. I don't think I do. Um, so we're just gonna put it in, this is basically a bolt action. Okay, so this is shooting a 32 ACP. Ow. Mm-hmm. Out of this gun. Let's see what happens. <laughs> That's the babiest little thing ever. Million yards. Never even saw it. Whoa! It ejected the shell out. That was crazy. <laughs> I think it's going high. I have no idea. That's my favorite part. So we got it in a mag this time. Let's see if we can get it to just feed in. What the? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm aiming really low because I can't see it hitting any dirt. Oh, yep. There's a hit. I just had to aim way low. Alright, if I can hit this two in a row, I am worthy of being the king of the demolition. There will be no new king today. It is time. 50 BMG. 50 AE. It's gonna be a cute little pew. It's in the mag way. Cool. I mean, it doesn't have a bullet to ramp it in. Okay, we're good. Dude, I actually felt that bolt try to come back. So this is a gas operated gun. So the bullet flies down here and it's a 50 cal bullet in a 50 cal barrel. So it passes here and then gas bleeds off just like an Air 15, comes back here to push that bolt back and cycle the new round in. So I felt it move, it tried, but it didn't have enough energy to actually eject that shell. <laughs> I got a 50 AE shell stuck in my 50 BMG. <laughs> get out of there! Get, get, get out of that gun. <laughs> Doing some long range now. Dude, yes, that was epic. Sweet. Oh, I see where they're going. They're going a little high. They're like a foot high. Let's see if I aim in the same spot how close they are all together. Oh, hey. Uh, not accurate at all. We got uh, one hit directly where I was aiming, and they were all good shots. Two hit a foot high. Four went off the target somewhere. One hit a foot foot low and like six inches right. You could scare them, but at 100 yards, not necessarily gonna hit them. 50 AE, 50 BMG, 12 gauge muzzle loader. But to keep it from falling out, you have to put the safety on. Yeah, this is good. Yeah! Wait, where did this thing go? Where did it? I don't, I don't think we're supposed to do that. I'm pretty sure it's actually strictly forbidden. But, I have another idea. So that's what happens when you have a chamber around it. Because when we were firing this thing when it was totally in a chamber, but in a shotgun chamber, it didn't fit well. That's why it didn't stay in there. So it had room to expand. So it didn't have the chamber holding all this together. And then once it got out here, it just bananaed it. Okay, but back to my other idea. It's the best idea I've ever had. Number one, numero uno. Yeah, this could work. The conditions are perfect. Okay, y'all get down, down. Okay, ready? Was that a click? Firing, please. Dang it, I heard it click again. Third test. Dang it! The primer is being hit by the firing pin but it's not being hit hard enough to set it off. We tried a couple different rounds, 
same thing every time just getting light primer strike but we were like how can we make this primer strike heavier because i guess it's you know a shotgun is just needing to set off a shotgun primer whereas a barrett has a big you know a big much heavier hit to set off a 50 bmg primer so how can we hit this thing harder and not give up i don't want to give up you know like Grantham would have already given up and closed the video off but not me so i'm like what about if we get this 22 12 gauge. Mm hmm. This is the way. The lesson to be learned is when one thing that's kind of sketchy doesn't work, you just double down on sketchiness. So we got a 22 right here. We're going to close her in and walk away. We did it! The GoPro lens got a little twisted. Okay, we are totally missing our 50 BMG. Our watermelon has a little bit of light shrapnel. Apparently right in front of it was the safest place to be. Where did it go? So our GoPro was on the table and it fell off. So I was like, something went this way. We found it. It's hot. It's missing a lot. So the case is usually thicker down here. Look at that. Bulge that primer out real bad. And all the energy went this way. Who knows where the bullet went? It obviously left, but it didn't go straight. I can't believe we found that. We are probably 15 yards from it. Like almost completely 180 degrees. Check that. Just for some reason rocketed sideways. But you can see that 22 went right into the base of it right there and set it off. Science. Okay, that concludes our video of seeing wrong calibers fired out of guns. Uh, somehow our shorty, shorty shotgun has survived again. I just really wanted to see a 50 BMG go into this watermelon from point blank range. Just like that. Thanks for watching this episode of Demolition Man. I love you, and I'll see you next time. I thought you'd move. Nice moves. Oh. You really gotta enjoy what we have here today. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.